Now in some more breaking news and a big relief to former Karnataka BJP Minister Ramesh Jarkiholi, the SIT, which is looking into the sexual assault allegations, say that they do not have sufficient evidence against him. Now remember the minister has been accused of uh, rape and sexual assault by several women and now the special investigation team which is probing this case says that they do not have enough evidence to form a case against the former BJP minister. Now we're being joined by uh, Neha who has been closely tracking this case. Neha, thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast. Now looks like a sort of a big relief for the former BJP minister because the SIT says that they do not have enough evidence to make a case against him. Well, that's absolutely right. Let's tell you that, in fact, you know, the Ramesh Jarki only sex tape was, in fact, one that had stirred up quite a huge controversy over here in the state of Karnataka. The minister was forced to resign at the time of when the tape was leaked. And most importantly, now we're seeing that after the constitution of the special investigation team, after the investigation has been completed, they've submitted a B report to court. And in all likelihood, Ramesh Jarki only is going to be getting a clean shit. Meanwhile, let's also tell you that, you know, this now, in fact, uh, sort of pays the way for his reinduction into the Basavaraj Bomai cabinet. This comes at a time also when the Chief Minister of Karnataka, Mr. Bomai, is likely to be visiting Delhi to discuss the cabinet expansion also. So we'll have to wait and see what's in store for Ramesh Jarkiholi also. Let's tell you that in fact this is very crucial now considering that Ramesh Jarkiholi also had independently met uh, Devendra Fadnavis. He also in fact, uh, you know, uh, sort of put forth his case in front of him. And we all know the kind of equation that would now have on the politics over here in the state of Karnataka. So we'll really have to wait and see, but definitely a huge relief for the former Water Resources Minister. Absolutely, Neha. We'll keep a close eye on the developments on that case. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.